This is an instructional video in the use of the Billy Goat SG1300H stump grinder. As with any Billy Goat product, review the operator's manual provided with the unit and also available at billygoat.com before use. When operating the equipment, use gloves, eye protection, steel toe shoes, and long pants are recommended. Note, the machine is capable of cutting up to 24 inches above grade. Make sure the stump is cut off at that height or lower before operating the grinder. Ensure the brake is released before pushing the stump grinder to the stump location. To prepare for operation, position the cutter wheel over the top edge of the part of the stump closest to you. Adjust the handle height for maximum comfort, stability, and safety. Lock the brake wheel by pulling the brake lever handle toward you. Next, turn the engine start switch on the front of the engine to the on position. Pull the choke lever to the rear of the machine for full choke. Push the fuel lever forward. Set the throttle to mid-range. Activate the start-stop switch on the control panel by pulling it up. Note, the start-stop switch on the control panel can be used for emergency shutdown. Next, move to the right side of the machine and engage the operator presence system with your left hand. Push down on the machine handle with your left hand to lift the cutter wheel off the ground. The operator presence bail must remain engaged. Place your right foot on the foot mount. Pull the cord with your right hand to start the engine. Important! When the engine is being started, the cutter wheel will rotate. Always be sure the cutter wheel is off the ground before starting the engine. Note, the machine will not operate unless the operator presence bail is pressed against the handle. Releasing the bail will disable the machine. Holding the cutter head off the ground allow the engine to warm up to operating temperature. When the engine is sufficiently warm, push the choke lever forward to close and increase the speed to full throttle. Move to the operator position to begin work. Lower the cutting head to the stump to begin cutting. Tip, keep the engine RPMs up and let the machine do the work. Do not try to remove too much of the stump at one time. This will bog down the engine. Move the cutter wheel right to left and back to right over the stump, removing one half to three quarters of an inch of the stump with each pass. Repeat the process until the front portion of the stump is flush with the ground. When ready to reposition, raise the machine off the ground by pressing down on the handle and release the operator presence bail to stop the machine. Wait until the cutter head has come to a complete stop. Release the brake. Note, if a large amount of chips have built up, rake them out of the work area. Reposition the machine to the remaining outside edge of the stump and continue the process to finish the above the grade grinding of the stump. Move from section to section until the stump is level with the ground. Note, as chips and debris build up, shut the machine down and either rake out the chips and continue from that position or reposition the unit to another area around the stump that is clear of chips. When ready to begin grinding below the grade, reposition the machine and readjust the handle for maximum stability and control. Apply the brake and raise the cutter head by pressing down on the handle. Start the engine and lower the cutter wheel into the stump. Remove the stump with back and forth motion as formerly described. Tip. Before cutting below the grade, it is recommended to dig the dirt away from the stump down to the desired cutting depth. The grinder is capable of grinding 16 inches below grade. Also, for below the grade grinding, it is important to avoid the wheels falling into the hole. If necessary, reposition the machine to the other side of the stump or back fill the hole with dirt. To shut down the machine, press down on the handle to raise the cutter head and release the operator presence bail or push the start stop switch on the control panel. Place the throttle in slow position and pull the fuel lever to the rear. After the machine cools, remove dirt chips and other foreign debris from the machine.